Hey guys, I'm Mike Roy, and uh, I've been getting a lot of questions on how I built this uh, crate that I carry under my leaning post here. Um, so I learned this from my friend, Ron. He works for Z-Bass Reels, and um, I just wanna kinda break this down and explain to you how I uh, build this crate. All right, so for starters, the material I need is, um, this is a crate from Staples. This is PVC gutter pipe from uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. And this right here, this is a piece of, uh, was a piece of uh, PVC pipe with two end caps on it and some stainless steel bolts. So we'll start with the crate first of all. So we purchased the crate, um, get a very small drill bit, smallest drill bit you have, and we're gonna drill out along the sides and edges, okay? This is gonna allow the water to drain out so at the end of the trip after you rinse it you could tilt it and allow the water to drain also i'm going to take uh that drill bit and i'm going to drill through the bottom uh very small you don't want to use if you use too big of a drill bit then the hook point's going to catch in there and get caught so you, you want to use a very very small drill bit and that just will allow some of the water to drain out through the bottom as well uh with the pvc gutter pipe i cut this to different sizes depending on the size uh the size lure I'm using. So I believe this may be eight inch, seven inch, six inches, and five inches. Um, so this was cut and everything was placed in here. All right, now you notice it was uh, caulked on the bottom of it. So what I did is before I put that in there, I actually each piece, I put some uh, 5200 marine caulk on the bottom of it or any kind of silicone or caulk. And I did push that down. And then uh, overnight when I was letting this dry, I put a couple weights on top of it to keep pressure and to get that to kind of all adhere together. With all the plugs, they always go head down because if you put them tail down, the hook could still, uh, you know, if you get some space between the bottom of the gutter pipe and the, uh, and the crate, it could catch under there. And then it's a big pain because you won't be able to pull it up. Um, the last part of this is this piece of uh, pipe here. So this was a regular PVC pipe, full PVC pipe. I bought two end caps, glued it together with pipe glue. All right, and then we used a table saw and split this right down the middle to create two halves. I think I ended up giving the other half to a friend of mine. Uh, and next thing I did, I got some stainless steel hardware, a bolt, and a nut here, and I just bolted this to size. So you see on this, uh, on the crate here, on the edges, just tighten that down so it was able to rest like that and slide. So usually on the tray, I'll throw my pliers, tape measure, various tackle, uh, and then the bottom of the tray so it drains. I have three holes drilled through there just so the water doesn't rest and it, it drains through. Uh, so basically at the end of the trip, this is totally washable. You could tilt it up. Um, usually I put it on the leg of my leaning post so it kind of tilts up like that. Uh, I tend to leave my gear in the boat uh, between trips because I'm doing two trips a day or you know I could be booked 10 days in a row. So uh, this is just a quick and easy way for me to uh, keep the gear organized and, and uh, clean. Thanks for watching Adventure Streaming guys. Hey, thanks for watching the video. I thought making a tackle box would be a cool springtime project. It's really simple. You wash it down, just like Mike said, he uses it all the time. Hey, if you want to get hooked up on some big Long Island Sound stripers, check out Captain Mike Roy at Real Cast Charters. He will hook you up on light tackle. Hey, give our video a thumbs up if you thought it was interesting and helpful. I really appreciate your subscriptions, and until next time, enjoy your adventure.